Brothers and sisters of the celestial energy, Brother Horse, the Sky God Pharaoh. I'm gonna get right into it. So our ozone layer, this ozone layer that these Caucasians made, it's gonna be destroyed coming May 14th at 1 p.m. Because right now our galactic sun is cooking up a solar storm. It's cooking up two solar storms simultaneously at the same time. And this solar storm right here, so what they lied to you, brother. They lied to us, brothers and sisters. Our galactic sun is not as far as we think it is. Our sun is not as far as we think it is. They say the sun's 90, them crackers are trying to say the sun's 93 million miles away. In reality, that just ain't true. It's not true, brothers and sisters. The earth itself is only 8,000 miles wide. So thus, so thus, if we look at the sun physically with our own two eyes and not our spiritual eye, which is our pineal gland or our third eye, or if we look at this with our, both our eyes and with our spiritual eye, our pineal gland, which is the third eye, we are going to see that these crackers, these coccozoids, they lied to us. Our, our real galactic, our galactic sun is not 93 million miles away. It's more like 93,000 miles away. Because they, and they know this. They need to lie to us because they know their time on this planet is up. Because, because I see the six o'clock news is posting that there's going to be a, a, a solar storm that's going to, that's going to hit earth at 3 million miles per an hour. And this isn't the double solar flare storm. That one's coming next. That one's a bit slower. This is going to be the final blow. This is going to be one of the final blows to these crackers. This double solar flare. But this first one's going to be a real blow. Because tomorrow at 1pm brothers and sisters. May 14th. Which the pagan holiday of Mother's Day starts. Earth is, Earth's ozone layer is going to be officially destroyed. May 14th 1pm. Because it. Because these, 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 these coccozoids, they don't know anything, but they do, but with their technology and their instruments, they were able to detect the frequency of the sun. And I can tell you right now that this solar flare is much faster than 3 million miles. It's going faster than 3 million miles per hour. And when it, when this hits the earth at this massive speed, it's going to cause so much damage. There might be elect electric outages, brothers and sisters, but but not that. But at 1 p.m. tomorrow, May 4, coming May 14th, many people, many Caucasian, white people, Asian, Arab people, many people are going to get cancer. Many people are going to die. Many people are going to be throwing up out of their... Are many people, not you brothers and sisters, and this may happen to some of our own species, our black and Hispanic spe species, which are the Anunnaki species, which is the dominant species and original species to this planet. Some of them who have been eaten extremely unhealthy and are overweight and overweight, a lot of them are going to get sick and they're not going to make it. A lot of our own brothers and sisters, they're not going to make it. And a lot of these Orientals, these crackers, these Caucasoids, they're going to die. They're going to die. They're going to start dying in massive amounts due to this solar flare hitting Earth at 3 million miles per hour. See, NASA is the fucking Nazis. They don't know shit about what solar flares do. They're trying to tell us that solar flares ain't harmful to human beings, a.k.a. white people, a these Oriental people, Arab people, Asian people etc what they didn't tell you is that the solar flares are not harmful to us melanated skin people they they can very well harm human beings and they have caused power outages water outages they've caused they've caused power outages they've caused no clean water for them to drink because they couldn't they couldn't have the power to distill it in the, those areas this caused electricity outages equipment malfunction and a lot of the thousands of the thousands of millions of these orientals these caucasian people and these asian people they're gonna die thousands and millions of them not 
thousands and millions of them are going to die from equipment malfunction. Thousands and millions more of Asian and white and Arab people, which are Saxons, which this is what our, our brothers and sisters in the cosmos call them all over, all over the galaxy. They are known as Saxons, these Asian people and these white and these so-called white or Caucasian people and these Arab people. They're not even brown people, these Arabs, these Caucasian people. They're not even white. They're pale faced beings, brothers and sisters. It's time to wake up. They're not even white. The Hopi Native Americans even called them this pale faced beings. And we shall call them this too, brothers and sisters, because that's what they are. They're not even Caucasian. When the sun hits their skin, they start to get mad. They have this pinkish, they got this pinkish-like thing. Because white people can be spiritual too, but it won't work as much as the original beings. Because if you're not melanated, you can only go up to the throat chakra. In your, in your decalcified pineal gland. The pineal gland can still be activated while decalcified, brothers and sisters. It's just when you do one of those pineal gland meditations and you're in a real low vibration, that's really powerful. It can, it can cause low intent to manifest and that can hold you back. So you wanna be careful when you're doing this. You wanna make sure you're healthy and taking care of yourself before you do these certain, thir certain meditations of the third eye. Because um, what I told you in that hope video, what I forgot to tell you in that hope video, brothers and sisters, is to keep and stay meditating and let go of all the fears. Because I find whenever I meditate, my fears alleviate, my pain evaporates, and there's going to be a big power outage, brothers and sisters. And millions of thousands of these Saxons are going to die. And millions of thousands more are going to die due to sicknesses because they can't take the heat due to the sun. Some of them will survive, yes. And if any of you white people are watching, you may survive through this, but not much for longer because the rest of your species is all going to come down to fall. Because this system, you Caucasoids, you Saxons, whatever you want to call them here on this pale green disc of a planet called Earth. By the way, I've said this many times before, the Earth ain't flat, nor ain't it, nor ain't it round. It's shaped like a football, and Antarctica surrounds the entire planet in an ice wall. And when it hits the ice wall and the rest of this planet at more than three million miles per an hour, all hell is about to break loose. And brothers and sisters everywhere, our DEA, because we know these white and Asian people and Arab people, they don't have what we have. They have DNA. Us black and Hispanic and Native American people, we don't have DNA. We have DEA. DNA is diphtheroxic nucleic acid. DEA is what black and Hispanic people have. Diphtheric, what, what is it again? Dioxide or whatever they call it, whatever the DNA is, dioxide etheric acid. Instead of dioxide nucleic acid, what white people and Arabs and, and Asians have, we have diphtheric, we have dioxide etheric acid, not that DNA. We have DEA. And if you're melanated, you're biracial, you're black, you're Hispanic, like Venezuelan, Puerto Rican, Central American. You're Native American, like you you were here first before the white man came. You have DEA in you. You have the original D DNA of the planet because these white people, these Asians, they're not natural. They were made in a lab by an alien species. They are the alien species because they are alien species. Us black and Hispanic people, we our organs are made of nature. Our organs are made of gold, plutonium, silver, copper. These are the elements we are made up of, brothers and sisters. And it's time we start meditating and connecting with the sun and getting back to that. And getting back in nature and grounding our feet on the bare ground because they made these shoes, brothers and sisters. And we got so many people of our so-called African-American descent, which we are citizens of Atlantis. We are Atlanteans because welcome to Atlantis, brothers and sisters. They took the land and renamed it and took our rights and our freedoms so we can't express 
so we can't express ourselves in nature. They took the true meaning and gave us a fake ass society. Now brothers and sisters are talking about or shooting each other over shoes, $300 shoes. Oh, and these shoes don't even benefit our people because these shoes, our people originally didn't wear shoes. Our people got information from the cosmos and from nature by walking on the bare ground, which I am doing right now. And this solar flare is going to reset everything because if you've been feeling lazy recently, lazy, if you've been feeling lazy, like you don't want to do this, like I didn't want to make this video, but I still got inspired to do it. That's why I did the last video about hope because I felt lazy. And if you're feeling lazy, but you're still doing shit anyway, keep pulling fruit. Don't let the laziness take over you, brothers and sisters. Don't let the laziness take over you because we're so close to the finish line. This physical, we're about to get this physical thing these caucasoids call money. We're gonna about to get so much of it, we're gonna crash their systems because we don't, we never needed it anyway. And when their system falls, we're gonna burn all their fucking money. We're gonna shoot their banks and police stations up. We're gonna kill every black and white police officer on the streets. We're gonna shoot every police station in America up. They're gonna. We don't even have to shoot them up. We're going to shoot fire through our hands, just like the Native Americans did when the white man came. We're going to fuck them up just like we did when they first came to our continent. And they stole equipment from the ogres from Shrek and the reptilians from outer space. And they allied themselves with them. And that's how they took the land from the Africans and the Native, so-called Africans and the Native Americans. Brothers and sisters, this is Horace the Sky God Pharaoh signing out. All power to the multi-celestial angelic beings. And remember, brothers and sisters, may chaos reign within you forever and ever. And don't forget this, brothers and sisters. We are chaos. Chaos is everything. I'll catch you guys in the next video.